So we as humans, because our knowledge is limited, we have to pass the judgment whether something is evil or good, whether something is bad or good, on the basis of the external manifestation of that deed. That is why we would say such and such person, he has committed this thing, it's a good. He has done this, it is bad. The same person. Although the inner personality is one, the something coming out of the inner personality, that doesn't change from time to time, from moment to moment. So actually, if we keep in view the personality as a whole, then the personality is one. But we are finding, we can't find that on the one tree we have a mango and also a lemon. It's impossible. The tree would be a mango tree. All will be mangoes. Or it's a lemon tree. All will be lemons. And so on. But we find on the same person, we find something he is committing good. He is doing good and this is bad. So actually why it is so? This is so only because we can't see the intentions of the person. Whatever good he is doing, that is also with bad intentions. And that is also actually in the eyes of Allah, that is not good. That is actually evil. Let me give you one hadith of the Prophet Man salla yurai faqad ashraka. Wa man sama yurai faqad ashraka. Wa man tafaddaqa yurai faqad ashraka. Aw kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whosoever prays to show off to the people that I am a very pious person. He has done, he has committed shirk. The worst, you know, crime in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the law, la yakfiru wa yushraka bih. This ayah has appeared twice in Surah Al-Nisa. Allah is not going to forgive that somebody commits shirk with him. All the lower and other sins can be hoped to be forgiven, except for shirk. And here the Prophet has used the word shirk. Man fallaya, he is praying, but the intention is to show off his own piety and taqwa to the people. So actually he is committing shirk. Man tasabdaqa yurai. Whosoever is giving alms, he is doing, is giving charity to people. But the intention is so that people should know that he is a very sahi insan. You know, he is very uh, mercy, merciful man. If he wants the admiration from the people, then he is making shirk. He is committing shirk. Woman, Sama Yurai, Fakad Ashraka, whosoever keeps a psalm, he is fasting. But the intention is to show off his piety to the people, he has committed shirk. So that is actually a very, you know, important example of what, her, what a world of difference can be there between the inner motive of an action and the external appearance or manifestation of that action. And that is actually the basis that we have so many concepts and so many standards, so many criteria of virtue. And actually here in this ayah, we shall find later on when we go into detail that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it clear that essentially virtue is the spirit which permeates the whole personality of a person. It starts with his thinking. His thinking should be right, his concept should be clear, his Welton Shaum should be correct, his philosophy should be correct, and then this spirit of piety and righteousness and virtue should permeate his whole personality and transform it into a balanced person. The every aspect of whose life is based on virtue, is based on righteousness. 